Yeah, Broadway was popping. I was like, Jesus Jumping. Christ, I guess COVID doesn't believe in, in Halloween. <laughs> well, I forget. There we go. Okay, yeah, we have quorum. This meeting is called to order. Um, uh, Secretary Sanchez, can you please take roll call? Sarah Clendeni. Present. Ben Wattsworth, not here. Fernanda, present. Chente. Present. We have quorum. We have quorum. All right. Thank you, everybody, for attending tonight's uh, executive committee meeting at the Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council. It is exactly 5.31 p.m. on a Monday evening of November 1st, 2021, day after Halloween. Um, we don't have much time, so we're going to get cracking on this uh, XCOM agenda. This is sort of uh, verifying the agenda for the upcoming um, general board meeting, which will be held on Thursday, November 4th, this week at 6 p.m. So uh, here we go. One, call meeting to order, done. Two, roll call, done. Three, non-agenda public comments. Okay, so if anybody from the public wants to comment, you have two minutes to speak, please raise your hand or press star nine and you have two minutes. I see none. Okay, seeing none, uh, we will move to the next item. Five, approval. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, four, sorry. Um, on this XCOM agenda, I didn't say setting the agenda for Thursday. I, I kind of screwed up. Is that okay? Yeah, no, that's good. Okay, so, uh, so this will be our hypothetical agenda for Thursday. Uh, three, non, okay, four, approval of general, general board minutes for May 16, 2021, special meeting. Five, approval of XCOM minutes for 5 13, 2021, special meeting. Six, approval of board minutes for 5 12, special meeting, 2021. Seven, community and board announcements. Oh, does anybody have any community or board announcements? If you're from the community and you have an announcement, press star nine or raise your hand. Not seeing any. Not seeing any. Um, okay, uh, board announcements. I don't, I don't have, oh, um, I don't have the dates, but if someone has a date for the uh, ofrenda, I think oh, they yeah. can make an announcement on that. I do. So the ofrenda is, at, is on tomorrow, Tuesday, November 2nd. November 2nd at 7 p.m. Somebody's knocking on my door right now. I'm on a meeting right now. Um, it's at uh, 7 p.m. It's my landlord. And uh, it's the address is 2808 Altura Street. Um, okay. Any and other? It's, it's open to the public, right? Yeah, can I, should I get my door? No, okay, so um, yes, it's open to the public. And if you have a photo of your loved one, it's for basically anybody in our community who passed away during COVID. Oh, sorry, listen, um, hold on a second. We can, we can take a, a, a yeah. five minute Can you guys continue break? the announcement? Okay. One second. So it's anyone from the community who passed away during COVID, um, please feel free to stop by the Church of Epiphany um, and put a photo or name of the loved one um, at the ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos tomorrow at 7 p.m. Yay, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna be there. Awesome, I'll see you there. I wanna see how it is. Yeah. I, had to take, I had to take one of my my uh my uncle passed away from COVID, so I had to take mine. He didn't live in Lincoln Heights, but he's still family. Yeah, we have a few people to put up to. And I don't I don't have any other ones, but we'll we'll call this like a little mini break until so Sarah can deal with that. Unless there's a, or something else you wanted to mention, uh, Fernie. No announcements for me right now. Okay. Oh, and, and a reminder too to uh, for the public that there are still taking in the applications for uh, bill paying assistance from DWP. 
and they are currently working on a second round for those who received the checks that were for 500 Hi. that they're looking for another round i think it was an additional 500 dollars. so i'm pretty sure we'll, we'll post that up or it'll be announced at one of our meetings awesome thank you all right so what number are we on we are number seven and we just closed it with the uh, board member comments so we're at eight okay, so we have number eight government reports we have no government reports right now no if the there's anybody Agenda. in the public from the government that wishes to speak oh yeah so anybody from the public from the government that wishes to speak i don't see any all right number eight government oh wait, number nine committee announcements uh we have no committees on here right now no, um, and, and this this will be on the on the uh, general meeting agenda, right? Too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So ten. So I want to change the order of a couple of these items. Um, I don't know if I should do that at the end. Well, yeah. Let, let's go through them and just look at them, and then we can do the the change in order. Okay. So uh, new agenda items, A, discussion and possible action on letter and community impact statement regarding 17-0454 just cause tenancy termination slash eviction and rent stabilization measures. This is a revision to a previously submitted community impact statement from 2017, which the file is still open in which our council uh, voted in one way. And then this will be a, a revision to that. B, discussion of possible motion regarding 2824 to 2830 North Pruitt Street, ZA 20215204 ZAD. The project proposes to construct a new two story, 3,873 3 square foot single family dwelling and an attached 800 square foot accessory dwelling unit, ADU, under separate administrative review. Three retaining walls measuring 62 feet, 35 foot, six inches and 35 foot and three inches long and up to six feet in height on a lot that measures 9,536 square feet, square foot vacant lot. That is within the Northeast Hillside ordinance. The project also proposes 745 cubic yards of grading and 645 cubic yards of exporting. Pluck vote, TBA. The Planning and Land Use Committee meeting is tomorrow. Okay. In which we will vote on this project. C, discussion and possible action on letter and community impact statement statement regarding council file 140268 s13 tenant anti-harassment ordinance d discussion and possible action on motion of reconsideration of tenants rights ad hoc committee richard larson this is a motion for consideration of reconsideration of the vote to approve the housing rights ad hoc the motion presented at the last special board meeting did not define a scope of function for the ad hoc the title itself is broad and needs important clarify conditions and verbiage such as a mission statement and a time of existence. E, discussion and possible action on letter and community impact statement regarding council file 211256. This is regarding 1739 North Albion Street slash Albion Riverside Park slash Albion Dairy Park Project. Transfer of jurisdiction. General Services Department to Department of Recreation and Parks. Then 11 will be non-agenda public comments and 12 adjournment. So that's the uh, proposed agenda. Okay. And then the, the, the other thing we need to add on here too is for the uh, treasury. Uh-huh. Um, the MERs. Oh, okay. Let me so do that I right have, now. I have monthly expenditures. And then also too, we have a budget for office items oh, that I'll, I'll have ready and present at the day of the, of the meeting. Okay, so what would I'll put that under? Should I just put it under new agenda items or committee announcements? Yeah, we would put like a treasury. Well, under new items, we would just okay. do treasury and then MERs. <laughs> and I'll get you the, the months for them. And then we, we're we also going to, I'll put a, an, an item on there too for, um, uh, what do you call it? For, uh, office items that we need. So, treasurer <laughs> discussion and possible, because I have to get this thing sent like in the next like, 20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes here. So treasure, discussion okay, yeah. and possible action on what? Approval of MERs? Of MERs. For, your... for the months of? Let me get that for you right now. On? For October. 
Because we already did September. Yes. Right, correct. And oh, then also oh. the second item too would be discussion and possible action on Lincoln Heights office items. Mm hmm Okay. And then uh I guess we will put I'm just gonna put a ball through a ballpark number up there so we can put it. Funding up to a thousand dollars. And then we should not even get close to that. That's just in case. Funding up to one thousand. Okay, so that's item A and B. Yes. So uh I want to change the order. I want to put uh, the reconsideration item last. Okay. And um, so it would go. Uh, sorry. It would go. Um, okay. So the two treasure items is A and B. Then C would be. Discussion of possible action on the just cause tenancy termination. Yeah. D would be the anti harassment ordinance. Yes. Hold on a second. B, C, D. Uh, e would be the planning and land use item. Mm -hmm. Okay. B, C, D, E, F. F would be the Albion Park. And G would be the reconsideration item. Yeah. Okay, cool. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, so uh, with that, uh, so do we have any book board discussion, right? Uh, on this uh, I'd, like, I'd like to make a motion to accept the agenda as written. And with the with the amendments that Sarah made by moving some of the agenda items around. Is there a second? Second. Second oh, wow. by Fernanda. And then now uh, board discussion and then public comment. Okay. Any board discussion on this? I have nothing to say. Okay, any public comment on this? Uh, Fernie, hold on, Fernie, do you have anything to say? No. Okay, and then we have public comment. Uh, FBI goats, can you please state your name? Hello. Let me see. I'll, I'll unmute you again. Yeah, I go. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't know why can't they hear me. Hey. We'll see if they can hear you now. Okay, yes, thank you. Yes, and we have to give a shout out to the good effort of going to the redistricting commission and getting that CIS in there at the very, very last minute. And now you've angered all of them. Kelsadio's <laughs> mad. Yes, Kelsadio's very mad, yes, because he knows that you hate him. <laughs> and want to join CD14. Nori's upset. Everybody's upset. But that's what makes Scott Puppet happy. <laughs> so keep up the good work and keep being a thorn in their side. And one day, when Gil gets his indictment, then you will be able to once again enter your offices again. <laughs> and check your email and check your mail without having to pay for a post office box. And everybody's saying, good morning, Madam President. May I get you some coffee? <laughs> yes, that's what we want, don't we? we? All we want is respect, liberty, and freedom yeah. from every part of the city. Yes, and of course, you've got to be introduced to my two demons from the Reseda Neighborhood Council and uh, Encino Neighborhood Council. Yes, that's right. You were only one of four that got the CIS in. Code Puppet gives you a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Keep up the good work, and now I have to go back to my farming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Puppet. 
Thank you. All right. Any other um, public comments? I don't see any. Okay, seeing none. Um, I'm putting this out right now. Sorry, my I'm being harassed by a, a, a bad landlord. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, seeing none, we're going to move on to the last item, adjournment. Um, gotta, wait, no, we, we have gotta, to vote. Yeah, vote first. Okay, so uh, you want to make the motion, Vince? Or you would for any? We got the motion. We just need a vote. All in favor? Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No. There's none opposing. Okay. Uh, well, this motion is approved. The motion carries. So this is this is the the uh, agenda that will be uh, for Thursday this week on the fourth. All right. Okay. Then I motion to adjourn the meeting. The motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Yeah. This meeting is adjourned. Before we do, you have to just open it to public comment. For oh, pub public comment. Oh, one more time. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, we got one uh, one person FBI goat. Oh, FBI goat. Hey. Yes. <laughs> and remember, we will continue to adjourn in the memory of the career of Mark Ridley Thomas. <laughs> Mark Ridley Thomas grew up in a handbag. He was mm. left on the back of a church. And at a young age, he decided shoplifting and stealing were much better than earning your cape. Remember the good times when he spent $774,000 to remodel his county board of supervisor office in Rosewood, Cherrywood, and Cherrywood, yes. And remember when he used $180,000 for remodeling his so-called garage in the name of security upgrades. Yes, every FBI agent has been trying for two and a half decades to nail this scumbag, and finally it happened. Thank you, Rick Caruso. Thank you, USC. And fight on to get more indictments against the city council. <laughs> Go Puppet moves to adjourn in his memory. All right. Thank you, Puppet. Okay. We have no more. Okay. No more public comments. And All right. So you adjourn. voted unanimously on it. All in favor, aye. 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 All right. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye-bye.